everybody it's Monday Thursday today that was when Jesus had a meal with his disciples I'm just going to read you that story now on the festival of unleavened bread or the Passover the disciples came to Jesus and said where do you want us to prepare your Passover meal he said enter the city go up to a certain man and say the teacher says my time is near and I and my disciples plan to celebrate the Passover meal at your house. The disciples followed Jesus' instructions to the letter and prepared the Passover meal. After sunset, he and the twelve were sitting around the table. During the meal, he said, I have something hard but important to say to you. One of you is going to hand me over to the men who want to kill me. They were stunned and then they began to ask one another, it isn't me, is it, Master? Jesus answered, The one who hands me over to someone I eat with daily, one who passes me food at the table. In one sense, the Son of Man is going to experience things well, marked by the Scriptures. No surprises here. In another sense, that man who turns him in turns traitor to the Son of Man. Better never to have been born than to do this. Then Judas, already turned traitor, said, it isn't me, is it, Rabbi? Jesus said, Don't play games with me, Judas. During the meal, Jesus took and blessed the bread, broke it and gave it to his disciples. Take, eat, this is my body. Taking the cup and thanking God, he gave it to them. Drink this, all of you. This is my blood. God's new covenant, covenant poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. I'll not be drinking wine from this cup again until the new day when I'll be drinking with you in the kingdom of my father. They sang a hymn and went directly to the Mount of Olives. So Jesus was telling his disciples that he was going to die, but that, would own, that, would, that he would also come back to life. But they still didn't understand. Jesus knew that even after his death and resurrection, there would be lots of work for his followers to do, sharing God's love with other people. Jesus promised a helper, the Holy Spirit, to be with us and help us to live for, for God and share God's love with others. Can you think of a time when the Holy Spirit helped you? Can you think of a time when you helped somebody else come to know God as their friend? Well, we've got a couple of Maundy Thursday challenges for you this week. The first one is, and I know everybody likes to play this, it's a game of hide and seek. Take it in turns to be the person who counts and looks for everybody. Use this as a reminder that Jesus was going away, but he had, a pro he had promised to return. And then the other, th the other challenge I've got is after his death and resurrection, Jesus knew he would be going to heaven to be with Father God. Draw a picture to together of what you think heaven may look like. Let us pray. Dear God, thank you that you gave us a helper so that we can live our lives for you and love others as you did. Thank you that when we find things difficult or there are things we don't understand, we can call on your Holy Spirit for help. Thank you that you made a way for anybody who knows you to go to heaven one day. Amen. See you soon.